got the prophets out of downfall of the sinful people called America, also known as in the scriptures. And first and foremost, before we get started, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the proper true names in the Hebrew tongue. Ka, Ka Halayu, La, La, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Ba Hashem, Ha, Ha, Raka, Raka, Kudash, Kudash, Ma Ma, Ma Ma. Ma. All right, double honors to the Apostle and Elders, Great Millstone. Also to our elders, as well down here in the Lions Den of Yashuella Camp. Okay. And with that being said, we want to go ahead and jump straight into the lesson, man. All right, because as you can see, the things that are going around around the earth, hey, it's complete chaos, man. You know that's what Esau wants: order out chaos, order through chaos. All right, so hey, uh, hey, that's what that's what you see going on right now. All right, as it states in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, the devil know that he have a short time, so he's about to come down with great wrath, man. And you can see that they got the draconian measures going on. All right, just in California, uh, yesterday, all right, due to the protest, due to the uh, 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 the trial that just left over, uh, they basically gave the orders to the National Guards, if anything go on, hey, get the fighter jets in the air. All right, so they're doing Afghanistan, uh, 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 yeah, tactics over here in America, man, against the citizens, all right? So with that being said, hey, it's war on the people, all right? With the, uh, in, even with that, with the, uh, the whole Insurrection Act of uh, 1807, man, you know, basically waging war against the people as well, all right? So hey, with that being said, if you go against the government, hey, they're gonna go head to head with you, man. So with that being said, hey, they're gonna come down with that great wrath with those draconian measures, all right? Taking away your rights, taking away your everyday living, you know? All right, you can uh, bring that uh, second address out, Book Bakasha. This is second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. He Cause, answered, because the Lord, guess what He told us to do, man, in these times. All right. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before." Come So the Lord told us to measure the time diligently in itself. All right, watching the things that He told us about before, man. All right, uh, earthquakes. The rumors of wars, the uh, 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 uproars of the people, man. And we see these things going on, especially those uproars of the people, all right? You got protests from Russia all the way over here to America, man. You know, and all, all in between, you know? So with that being said, it's just chaos all around the four corners, man. You know, hey, so these are the things that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, told us about, all right? Earthquakes in diverse places. What that was, uh, New Zealand, a couple of weeks ago, correct me if I'm wrong, they had a, a, a series of 18,000 earthquakes within the span of one week, man. Mm. So, hey, you can't tell me that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is a man that he needs not to lie. Why? Because these things are coming to pass, man. All right. All right. Keep going, but Bakasha. Then shall thou understand that it, that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So Khan, so hey, these are the things that we're gonna see, all right, those if you, those opening acts, if you will, before the Lord make his return to Yahweh Shai, that grand finale, man. The earthquakes, the uproars, the, 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 the wars, all right, we're seeing this going on, all right, uh, what it is, uh, China, Russia, all right, basically Russia said, hey, America's crossing the line, they come over in, uh, what it is, the Ukraine again, hey, shit, hey man, hey, they ready for war. Hey, what it is, Revelation uh, 11 and 14, this is Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet just backing up what the brother was saying you know you're gonna hear rumors of wars right now you got World War three breaking out what's the these uh uh these proxy wars, these uh these, these different you know all types of wars, wars, man. Yeah, so forth and so forth, right, man. You know? All those like the brother said, the proxy wars, those small wars building up. All right, all right. you got the war between Iran and, 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 and uh, uh 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 Israel. All right, that's beefing it up. And guess who's backing both of them? Russia's backing Iran. All right, and China's backing Russia because China said, hey, if uh Russia go to war with uh, America, they're gonna have their back 100 percent. So guess what? That that small that small proxy war is building up to that World War Three, man. You know, the the the, the, the utmost war, the, the the ultimate warfare. You know. This is Revelations chapter eleven, verse fourteen. The second war is past, and behold, the third war coming quickly. Come, the second war passed, and behold, the third war coming quickly, man. And you see that third war coming quickly, all right? Why? Because like the uh, brother brought out earlier, Second Edges chapter nine, measure the time diligent itself. We're measuring those times, so we see the things going on, man. You know, hey, all these different nations, they're standing up against this bully America, man. It's talked about in Joel chapter uh, 2, all right? Chapter 3, Shalakia, you know, you can bring it up. This is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with co co uh, confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with come, burning come. and fuel of fire. So come, man, every uh, 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 noise of the battle, 
soldiers with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, man. So throughout history, you had sword to sword combat, hand to hand combat, arrow to arrow, bow to bow, whatever you will, man. But this one's going to be with burning and fuel of fire. All right, by the way, of those ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right, and it's prophesied for 200 million of them to hit this place called America, according to Revelation chapter 9, verse 16, man. So, hey, if you don't turn back and repent to the Lord, Yahweh will buy Shem Yahweh Shai, shit, you better be the best dodgeball champ there is, but you ain't going to be able to dodge your missiles, man. You ain't going to dodge that shit. Hey, any more precepts? You ain't going to dodge that judgment. I got to pick you on this. Uh, uh, Jeremiah here. chapter 50. Come on. Uh, 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 yeah. Grab it out. We got one right here. You can right. it up. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. Yeah. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, mm. but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So come on, man. Hey, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, got his uh, prophets all around the four corners of the earth, man. So therefore, his words are being issued out into these, into these streets, man. So guess what? His words should not return to him void, man, because he's speaking through the mouth of his prophets, all right? So the things that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, have commanded, all right, is going to happen. No if and buts about it, all right? Whether you believe it or not. And a, a day to the most high is a thousand years unto us. So when he says something to us, a thousand years go by and we forget about it. There, there are generations that forget about what the most high said, but they're still there. They will not come back unto him void. All right. They're still going to play out in this, in this realm we call earth. Yep. This is, uh, Romans chapter three, verse three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without the fit? God, uh, God forbid. Yay, <clears throat> let your whole by see me shot be true, but every man a liar. So As come on, man. So hey, these things that are coming to pass, these things that are being prophesied, hey, whether you believe it or not, is that gonna make the work of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah without effect, man? The Lord forbid. Hey, cause why? Once again, like the brother brought up, his words should not return to him void, man. Everything that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has spoken is gonna come to pass. No if and buts about it. This place is gonna be destroyed, called America. It's not gonna rise again. Hey, uh, 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 the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna give us the uh, the heathen as our footstool, man. You know, hey, he's gonna give us give us them for all our wants, man. You know, they, they are they are possession. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> I have Isaiah 66. No. Uh, all right, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, starting at 15. <laughs> yep. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all, all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Come on, man. Hey, by, by, hey, by fire will he, will he plead with all flesh, man. By the way of those ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, and also those chariots, man, because they also issue out that heat as well, man. Right. So, hey, with that being said, hey, the, the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. It's prophesied for two-thirds of our people to be cut off and die, according to Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8, man. Right. So, with that being said, hey, turn back and repent. Why? Because the slime is slowly but surely closing up, man. That grace period is definitely closing, man. You can see it. All the things, everybody, pretty much everybody I talk to, man, hey, I can feel something going on, man. They got these stimulus checks being issued out. Hey, the people know, the, the people know in their mind, in their spirit, all right, it's something going on, man. But guess what? They can't put their finger on it, man. Why? Because, hey, you got to take heed to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Take heed to him when he's speaking to you. Uh, You still in Isaiah? I can grab uh, 65 and 12, Bafaka Shah. 65 and 12. Come on. Because, hey, man, judgment is going to start at the house of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. Because he's calling out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? But, hey, you got to take heed, man. That's why Isaiah 55 and 6 say, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, all right? Why? Because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, he's not going to have his prophets out here in that time, in that, in that day, man, when all hell is going to break loose, all right? All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Why? Keep going. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But Wait, did what e you did? But did evil before my eyes, and did chose that wherein I delight of not. So come, man. Are you going to be numbered to that sword? Why? Because when the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, spoke out to you, all right? When he called to you, you did not answer. Mm -hmm. When he spake, you did not hear. You put your hands over your ear. I don't want to hear that. I ain't uh, worried about that. I ain't worried about these niggas, man. Niggas got on dresses and whatnot, man. Hey. Once again, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not mocked, man. So, hey, he's going to have the last laugh, all right? Pretty so. Come on, you got it. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, starting at verse 24. It says, Because I have called and ye have refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. 
I will also laugh at your calamity, and I will mock when your fear cometh. So Khan, man, hey, so when the Lord Yahweh bless from Yahweh Shah was trying to reach out to you, man, you didn't take regard to it, all right? God. You didn't take heed. So guess what? When your calamity comes upon you, your tribulation come upon you, he's going to laugh at you, man. Just like in uh, Judges 10 and 13. Go and cry to the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your trouble, man. And guess what? They're not going to be able to do it, man, because they're not real gods, all right? It's only one true God, and that's the Lord Yahweh bless from Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, All somebody right. grab uh, Zechariah 7 and 11. Oh, you can bring that up, though. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 33. I'm going to huh? start, start at verse 2. It says, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him Which are we? Oh, yeah. for their watchmen, if, if when he see if the sword come upon the land and he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Come on. Hey, and that's these false prophets, man, which brings us back to the lesson, man. All right, judgment starting at the house of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Those who are in the circumcision, those who you know who you are, know who the Lord are, and don't even admit who the Lord is, man. Get out here and confess, all right? Hey, judgment is starting here, man. So with that being said, by you not getting out here and issuing out the true truth, all right, the true knowledge and wisdom of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, hey, you're going to be destroyed if you don't repent, man. Nick the snake of IUIC, uh, Tazari uh, goddamn of ISUPK, uh, Yohan of IUSUPK, uh, uh, Zabak, uh, 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 what, what, what are you with? Uh, HOI, all right, so forth and so forth, man. TD Jakes, all you gonna, you got blood on your hands, man. Why? Because you're not warning the people what's to come, man. You're giving that uncertain sound, that broke ass trumpet, man. So, with that being said, you're gonna be numbered to the sword. No if and buts about it, man. Why? Because you're scattering abroad instead of gathering together, man. Time. All right, yeah. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. Yeah, For 7 the time has come that judgment must begin yeah, 7 at the house of Yahweh Shah. Done. So, hey, judgment's going to begin at the house of the Lord, man. So, hey, what more if it's beginning at the house of the Lord? What is going to be for two-thirds of our people? What is going to be for all these other heathen nations, man? So, hey, that's why you got to turn back and repent to the Lord right now, man. Because once again, that's the time. It's slowly, but surely closing up. Not even slowly, man. Hey, because why? The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, say he's speeding up the time for the elect's sake, man. So, hey, you see that going on right now? The time is definitely speeding up. Day after day is going by quicker and quicker, man. All right, shit, we damn near out of the month of April. Shit, April just came in like a week ago. That is it feel like. Uh, All right. Uh, Any precepts? Zechariah? Yeah, I, yeah, I had that. Time, this is Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. But they refused to hearken and put away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Come on, man. Just like the table that David prayed about in Romans 11 and 7, man. Hey, which is showing the fact right there. The people don't want to hear it, man. Shit, they cover up their ears. They walk away. They don't want to talk about the truth. They always want to hear those smooth words that talked about in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10, man. All right, but when it comes to that 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 that, that undeniable, uh, uh, pure, uh, uh, strong truth, they don't want to hear it, man. They want that weak, feel-good, philosophical message, all right? They don't want to hear the truth, all right? So guess what? By you not taking heed to the truth, all right, you're going to be numbered to the sword, all right? Pretty up. You got it. All right, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 10, which say to the seers, see not. Guns. That's what they called us back then, the seers, man, the ones that seen the things that was going on, the ones that was able to, 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 to translate the things that was happening, all right? And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. Guns. Speak unto us smooth things. We don't want to hear, oh, the Lord is coming back to save us, yada, yada, this, that, and the third. Oh, no great tribulation before we enter the kingdom of heaven. You got one snake out there, Nate the snake, once again, that's something that he teaches. We're not going to go through any great tribulation. All right, that's that smooth speech that they want to hear, man. That's that smooth speech, being comfortable here in America. That's what they set up for, to keep you in company. Those are Judas goats, man, you know, leading you astray, leading you to the slaughter. But when the slaughter get there, they think they're going to get away, but their ass going to get cut off too, man. Because that's where he said what? Uh, he's going to start at, at his house first. Ooh, so set. those that, that, that know and the know that we are the children of Israel, but giving off the wrong proper vibration. That's why these other camps are being uh, uh, exposed to, to these different acts, these unclean acts that they're doing in amongst their congregation, man. Right? The Lord already got a, a target on, on those that's under circumcision because they're being broadcast to the, to the forefront of what these other camps are doing, man. Con, uh, Yohanna, hey, man, take the jab. You know what I'm saying? We can get out here and have a good pass or hit these beaches up during the summer, yada, yada, this, that, and the third, man. Hey, it's nothing but foolishness, man. That's why scripture say put this, put this, put the silence, the foolishness of ignorant men, man. And that's what we're doing, all right.
Kyle, Kyle. Uh, Jeremiah they, they, 14 they like and 14. Kyle. Then the Lord oh. said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination. A thing of not and a deceit of their heart, like the brother was saying, these false leaders, these so-called teachers that they there was false teachers among us, but you know, Nate the Snake, ISUBK, you know, these false counts, man, they, they preaching out the side of their neck, man. They preaching deceits, you know, uh, scaring our people abroad, leading them to their own demise, man. Like, like for example, what, what, what bothers me the most to where if you watch an IUIC video, right, they always target the older women. They always target, they, they look down on those that don't know who they are. And then when they tell them that they're the children of Israel, they still give them vomit. Because when it comes to the Lord's name, they ask them about what's the Lord's name. They say, uh, Most High. Oh, that's the father. Or oh, they say most high uh, uh that C word, because I'm not finna say that yeah. heathen name. That's it there, bro, you know, yeah. or they'll say uh J C, <laughs> you know? But the, the father name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. That is that's the first step to the doctrine by having the Lord, the father name and the son's name to, to enter, get into the doctrine, man. Because without those names, you cannot be able to understand the doctrine. Because no. that's a part of that's part of the picture, man. Most has to introduce himself unto you. That's, and, that, and that's playing on and the, and the proper introduction is hi my name is your name is and that's how you introduce and, and that's how an uh, introduction is, is born so uh for, for for these false prophets to say oh the most i don't have a name or his name doesn't matter uh then uh a person is never being properly introduced to the most high right. 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 that's and that's really that's really as simple as it is he he, he can have he has titles you can call him by his title but when it comes to salvation when it comes to your soul and saving other people as well, it's the name. Huh. That's how you know that they stuck in their iniquity too, because what scripture says, let let those that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity, man. So they're still stuck in their wickedness, all right? So, and also, hey, like scripture says, that's how you know the Lord is not in the midst of them, all right? And when two or three are gathering in the midst of my name, when they 300,000 deep out here, all right, hey, there I am in the midst of them. So guess what? The Lord is not in the midst of y'all. IUIC, Nate the Snake, who used to teach the name fully, man. All right. So, hey, man, the Lord is not in the midst of y'all. Why? Because now you're rejecting the Lord. All right. So, therefore, he's going to reject you as talked about in Hosea chapter 4 and 6, man. All right. Uh, the bar. Oh, yeah. No, real quick. Real quick. Okay. This is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they are lured through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. Mm -hmm. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruption. Gone. And that's what they're doing. Promise you living, but they service corruption, man. All right. You go on their taxonomy. All right. Uh, uh, what it is? Uh, Islam. I yeah. Uh, it, no, it's on the Christianity. Now, uh, I asked you, PK is up on the Islam, man. Gone. So, hey, which is uh, the two biggest religions that's talked about in scripture, man. All right. When it says you should worship wood and stone, man. Hey, which is the two biggest religions that our people worship, all right? Uh, the wood represent Christianity, stone represent the damn cobblestone that they over there doing, man. Uh, bowing down to, all right? And yet you got these two right here disguised, all right, let, leading you astray, still worshiping, man. All right, so with that being said, hey, they, 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 they promise you freedom, but yet they don't have it themselves, man. They still uh, 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 up under bondage, all right? You know, so hey, man, give us some more now. Yep. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought into bondage. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, straight to the point. Just to back it up, man. All right. They, they, they offer you something, but shit, they ain't offer you something they don't even have, man. All right. You have freedom through this truth, which they don't even have the truth. All right. That scripture says in Wisdom of Solomon, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And who is that him? They can't tell you who that him is, man. So therefore, I know, we know that they don't know the truth, man. All right. This is a clear to Atticus chapter 6. Verse 22. For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Gun. So wisdom is not manifest to many, man. All right. So hey, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he only loves those that dwell with wisdom. You can go to like uh, 7 and 27. So 27. with that being said, okay, uh, you false prophets be trying to use the scripture, uh, trying to use the scripture that uh, he built his secrets unto his servants, uh, to his servants, the prophets. Well, the, the wisdom, the wisdom of the Holy Scripture, the Lord didn't give y'all the whole nine yards, man, because y'all still breaking down precepts, all right, the wrong way. Y'all still calling on a different name. So how can you say that the Lord is dealing with you when He didn't reveal His secrets unto y'all, man? Because if He did, y'all would have the right breakdowns. Y'all would have the correct doctrine. Y'all, y'all, y'all wouldn't have a, a lot of conflicts in amongst y'all uh, congregation, man. All right. 
Uh, Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah, will do nothing but reveal of his, his secrets until his service to prophets, man. Good. You know? When it comes to a, a lot of these camps, the ISUBK, IUIC, and all the other ones, I never hear them break down prophecies, and I never hear them break down like the deeper, like the. I never hear them break down chariots. Or going into I never. The or going to the, simply going into the stories. Well, that's the thing, you know. Hey, prophecy is a gift, you know. So hey, that gift is not. Hey, that gift is not given to everybody, man. You know, he manifests those things to his prophets, man. You know, just like the brother stated. All right. So with that being said, hey, faith is a gift, prophecy is a gift, and those things go hand in hand. They intertwine right with each other, man. You can't have faith without prophecy. You can't prophesy without faith, man. Faith is the thing, substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, man. So therefore, it's speaking in the prophetic stance, all right? It's speaking down the line, all right? Uh, I got a quick interjection real quick. Hey, this was of Solomon chapter three, verse nine, all right? It says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. So now the brothers was just speaking on, hey, you can't get up there and get the breakdowns. Why? Because you're not putting your trust in him. For one, you don't even acknowledge who that him is, man. So therefore, how can you understand the truth when you don't even know the person that actually out here prescribing the people the actual truth, man? You know, the one that gives the increase, the one that gives the decrease, all right? So hey, man, how are you gonna understand the truth? It says, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy, all right, here it is. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. So come, may he have grace and mercy for his saints, and he have care for his elect, man. So therefore, who he have mercy for, that's who you're gonna uh, 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 give that knowledge and wisdom to. Why? So they can turn back and repent and be on that uh, 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 straight and narrow, man. I, I got a precept. Yeah. This is First Timothy chapter, yeah. chapter three. I'm gonna start at verse, you said dealing with faith. Yeah. Verse nine, it says, holding, holding the mysteries of the faith in a pure conscience. And that's the thing, they can't hold on to the faith with a, uh, the mysteries of, uh, of, of the faith with a pure conscience because they, their mind are their mind is corrupt, all right? They, they selling merchandise unto their own people, all right? They're making the, the, the word is uh, merchandise unto, uh, unto the congregation. They, 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 they don't even understand the, the mysteries of the faith, man. Because if they did, why would they have a problem but other counts when they say they are faith, they are, we are faith-based camps when they don't even show, they don't even show off that uh, that, that that same vibration, because like IUIC and and, um, and Yohanna and them, they they telling them to get the the, uh, the jab, man. You know, they they telling them to to to, to take up that dose, man. All right, the trust in uh, uh, Esau's system, man. Basically leading them to a straight, man. Because. Because unto the elect, they're going to be justified by faith. They're going to hold on to the mysteries. They're going to have a pure conscience because why? The Lord gave them a sound mind, all right, uh, by, by giving them this word to keep them stable in, in, in um, um, different different uh, 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 um, situations throughout their lives to keep them sound in life, man. Uh, quick precept, well, interjection. This is Wisdom of Solomon, yeah, chapter hey, 1. You got to be louder too, y'all. Okay. Chapter 1, verse 4. For unto a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. You know, that's a straight cut for those, uh, you know, like you were just speaking on, man. Those brothers out there, man, you know, they, they don't have the real wisdom of the Lord. You how about Shemel Shah, man? You know, the wisdom is not, it, it's not going to dwell into a, a, a malicious soul, man. You know, y'all out here leading our people to straight with these, uh, with your, your foolishness, man. Way, way reductions. Way reductions. Come on. Come on. Yep. Freaks out. All right, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 30. Yep, yep. just make sure y'all keep it up. Come on. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. All right, so these uh, false camps, man, they don't have the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and they're not teaching them according to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So that uh, tells you that they are not with him, man. And it says, um, uh, so like it says, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad, man. All right, and they are not, uh, they are scattering, man, because they are not coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and they're not giving our people. Uh, the truth, man. So therefore, they are just further scattering the people, man. Scattering the sheep. Yeah. Uh, Back in uh, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, verse twenty-seven. And being but one, she could do all things. I'm a judgment. Con, and that she is referring to uh, uh, Sophia, wisdom, man. You know, wisdom. All right. Yeah, con. Sophia, Greek for wisdom. All right. Yeah. And remaining in herself, she make of all things new. Con, new meaning refresh. You know, every word has more than. Well, I ain't gonna say every word, but a lot of words have more than one meaning, man. Not just physically new. Oh, no one knew that. Or this, that, and the third. Now nah, refresh to make known again. All right. Con. And in all things, and in all ages, entering into 
holy souls, she making them friends of Yahweh by Shema Washa and prophets. So Khan, man, hey, that, that knowledge and wisdom of the Lord enters in all holy souls throughout all generations, man. Making us friends to the Lord Yahweh by Shema Washa and prophets, man. So, so Yeah, so if they don't have that wisdom, they're not prophets. Khan, so if you don't have that knowledge and wisdom, you're not prophets, man. Yeah. Because like scripture says, Isaiah 33 and 6, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time, man. And not the knowledge and wisdom of this world, all right? Not so that's Khan. So that's why if you out here spewing out all this different shit, man, you're not going according to the doctrine which we have been taught. Hey, you're going to be numbered to the sword, man. That's why judgment is being started at the house of the Lord right now, man. All right. That's why you see these different camps getting exposed. Uh, 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 IUI, well, Nate the Snake. Well, damn, I keep saying, hey, you up next, man. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Yohanna, uh, 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 who was that in the damn strip club for the Passover, man? Sakari. Yeah, come on, Sakari. Hey, yeah, damn, they, they, they on there, man. You know, uh, 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 who else was it, man? GOCC. Yep. GOCC. <laughs> GOCCs. <laughs> Say it like that, you get the motto, man. House, like, House, hey. House of Israel. House of Israel. Uh, yeah, Zabak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the mark of the beast is Christianity. Yeah, they don't, you know they don't like what you talk about. There's only one way to teach the doctrine, man. You know, only one real way, man. If you're not doing that, hey, you the doctrine. But the Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you, man. If you're not teaching his doctrine correctly, man. Right, can somebody grab uh, 1 Peter 4 and 14? Building on that foundation. Yep. 1 Peter uh, 4 and 14? Yeah. Let me go ahead and grab that. Come on, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14. It says, If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye for the spirit of. For the. Like, for the spirit. It's like. If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. So, Khan, man, it doesn't matter what they say. Why? Because we know of our conscience. Hey, we know that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai get all the glory from us, man. We're going to get out here and exalt the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, it's talked about the second Edges chapter 2. All right, those are the ones that was crowned, man. The ones that were standing out here boldly for the name of the Lord, man. You know, stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Those are the ones that's going to be crowded, all right? So, therefore, all you mocking and scoffing, hey, it's no effect, man. Y'all shit talking holds no weight. If anything, it adds more weight to us. It gives us an extra push, all right? Why? Because the shit that y'all talk is already talked about in here. So it just makes it known that what we're speaking is true. All right. Why? Because you got to get out here mock and scoff about the shit that's going on, man. God. Uh, this this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. Yeah, fine. It Bring says, fire. For the, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Come so and we um what it says, we, it says um the time will come that they will not endure sound doctrine. So we seeing that as right now, man. All right, those that still breaking down Revelations chapter uh, six, Revelation chapter thirteen verse sixteen wrong. All right, still saying that the mark of the beast is, is Christianity, uh, embargo, 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 it's spiritual. All right, it's a uh, cell phone. Cell phone. You know what I'm saying? All this other nonsense. Everything the market. Come, everything that's not the truth. Because it says you uh without that that mark, you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell, man. Yeah, well, so so, so that, that mark required uh, <laughs> uh, uh go back to that chip, man. And now you see now you see with these different um these different testing sites, all right, they have the the the, the, the that dose that have a chip in it, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But 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 for all the scoffers out there saying that the mark of beast was not the RFID chip or it's not gonna be something that go in your flesh, all right now y'all starting to look like fools man. now y'all starting to, to now you have to go back and uh say a lie on top of other lies that y'all have built upon man because y'all y'all your congregation was built on lies the only the reason why it was built on lies because y'all didn't keep the name of the lord all right neither did y'all keep the the sound doctrine correctly all right and y'all not doing it correctly y'all not doing it according to the spirit man all right and a lot of these other counts man uh, start to uh you know a lot of these other counts um, being exposed because most of them was built off of money, man. All right, was built off of money, pride, yeah. and corruption. not on that solid foundation of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Because if you don't have that solid base, that solid foundation, or right, it's gonna crumble, as it's talked about in the scriptures, man. All right, when that flood come and beat on it, vehemently, shit, it's gonna. So therefore, you have to have that solid foundation, that rock, solid rock, which is Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know. I got a quick precept. Cracking up the brother Debar. Yeah. This is Second Peter chapter three, verse two. 
that ye be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Where he said, be mindful, man. Come. All right, so obviously you other camps was, was told, just like we were, was told about this truth. All right, once again, it says, be mindful, man. So we have to be mindful of what all we was taught, what all was being said to us. We can't take that lightly. But the, uh, these other camps, they don't, they take it lightly because they don't have the fear of the Lord, man. Done. Knowing this first, verse 3, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. Yep. And that was uh -huh. clear you got cut. It, you got it, you got it. Yeah, that was just clear cut, man, just to back up what he was saying, man. You know, uh, y'all scoffing, man. Y'all mocking the Lord. But, but every idle word shall be given account of thereof in the day of judgment, man. We're prepared for this. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. All right, uh, this, is the book of, this is the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his fathers and with the holy angels. Con, Nate the snake, and hey, you're ashamed of the Lord, man. So guess what? He's going to be a saint as you. Which, like Apostle DeHart say, man, you guys are fucking embarrassments, man. Okay. You, you was out here faithfully teaching the true name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, going faithfully to the doctrine. But now you out here for filthy lucas sake, feeding off of other people, man. Taking their money, you know. Israelite starter packs. That hireling, you know. You're not, you're not a real shepherd of the sheep, man. You're hiring. You're just there for the moment, all right? Getting your money. You don't care about the uh, flock, man. You don't care about the Lord's flock. You just out here for your own goddamn uh, 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 game, man. Oh, you know? And uh, also it says, uh, whosoever shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, man. And it's this truth that sets us apart from this adulterous and sinful generation, man. But these false camps, as the brothers have been bringing out, uh, they uh, they uh, adhere to this adulterous, adulterous and sinful generation, man, by not upholding and teaching the truth. Uh, Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shah, man. They add none to it rather than separating themselves from it, man. Uh, uh, quick, quick interjection. Uh, Proverbs 12 and 13. It says, the wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. All right, so the wicked is, uh, is, is, is snared by the transgression of his lips, man. Because what's, what's good to say? We're going to be justified by our sins. So therefore, if you're out here spewing out these lies, man, and your ass going to be numbered to the sword, man. No if and buts about it. But guess what? It says, but the just shall come out of trouble. What trouble? Jacob's trouble that we're about to enter into. All right, talked about in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, and also James 12 and 1, man. It's going to be a time like none other, all right? So therefore, if you're not speaking the things that are pleasing to the Lord, y'all will watch me, y'all shine that day, your ass could be numbered to the sword, man. What that sword be by famine, actual sword, gun, all right, uh, 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 racial war, civil war, or utmost those ICBMs, man, that you're not going to be able to get around, man. God. All right. Precepts. Yeah, well, one. Okay. This is uh, Matthew. Go back to what? Uh, this is Matthew chapter 10. Back up what uh, Gabar was reading. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth, I came not to send peace, but a sword. So whosoever uh, 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 denies the Lord, all right, and not uh, deny him and not uh, uh, deny his deny his name is also as well. When Yahweh Shai come back with those hosts of angels, all right, he's going to deny them, man, all right? Wow. But whosoever that's not ashamed, that is confessing him, he's not going to be ashamed of them, and he also is going to confess them as well. I have one more interjection. God. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse, verse 8. It says, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoners. But be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad. So what he said, be not ashamed all right, of the testimony of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, man. And a lot of our people, they are ashamed, man. All right, a lot of our people are ashamed of the testimony of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, especially when it comes to, uh, especially when it comes to your kid folk, your, your family. All right, they quick to uh, want to denounce your belief, want to denounce the name of the Lord, or try to make little funny suggestions. Oh, how you say his name again? Or I don't want to mess up his name uh, if I say it wrong. But you already have uh, uh, did that mockery, man. And you also have that in the midst of uh, uh, the, uh, of the circumcision as well, man. Just uh, for example, with Nate, man. All right, and Geo uh, Zusty Mites, man. 
Hey, Salawan, Mama Wan, Benjamin, Salawan, Salawan. This is John, chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour will come, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Come on, man, and that's what's going on right now, man. Hey, but one, you gotta have the spirit of prophecy to get out here and worship the Father in spirit and truth, man. It's talked about in Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, all right? Because that's the true spirit of the Lord. So therefore, if you're not out here prophesying, all right, you don't have that true, that, that true tongue of the Lord, man. That true, this true speech, the true doctrine of the Lord, man. All right, why? Because you got to get out here and warn the people. All right, that warning before destruction, all right, where prophecy comes into play at, all right? Psalms 37 and 30. The mouth of the righteous speak of wisdom, and his song talk of judgment. You, uh, man, you camps out there, y'all not talking of judgment, man. Y'all talking out the side of your neck, man. You know, I just want to bring that out, just uh, make that clear cut, you know? Go on. Uh, preach up. Preach up. Go on. Uh, all right, it's the book of Joel, just going back into how uh, the sincere and the people who are sincerely in this truth will not be ashamed of the Lord, man. All right, so it's the book of Joel, chapter 2, so like uh, chapter 2, verse 27, and it says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed, man. All right, because if you really in this truth, you will not be ashamed to uh, shine this light in the midst of all this darkness, man. You know, because... <laughs> No, this world ain't nothing but darkness, man. Darn. And guess what, man? Hey, like the brother was speaking on earlier, man. Those of you that are saying that the Lord is going to be the same to you. All right? So, hey, with that being said, hey, you got Jacob's trouble, about to hit, ready to get that climax. So, with that being said, hey, if you're saying that the Lord in that day, he's going to be the same to you, so he's going to number you to that sword. Why? Because you're not doing the things that are pleasing for him now. Basically, getting your insurance up, man. You know, getting enough insurance up to save your ass later on, man. You know, storing up those heavenly riches, all right? So, hey, you got to get out here and, and do the work, all right? You know, uh, quick precept. Uh, this is Romans chapter 10, verse 10. It says, For with the heart men believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So, hey, the mouth is, with the mouth is made into confession. Is to, to, it's like, with the mouth, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation, man. So, guess what? We'll get out here with our mouth and confess that the name of the Lord is Jehovah Bashem Yahweh Shah. Hey, and that's what? By us getting out here, the cause and effect to that, we're going to reap salvation, man. Romans 10 and 13, for, who, for whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So calling upon the name of the Lord, that's where we're going to get our salvation from. All right? All right? So within that self, if you're not, if, for one, if you don't have that true name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, shit, that's one X for you already, man. One big X, all right? Because 1 John chapter 3, verse 23, one, the, one of the commandments call upon the true name of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Nick the snake, I U I C, the ones that so so called lift, uplift the commandments, man. It's going by all of them, and that's one right there that y'all breaking. So by y'all breaking nothing, y'all breaking all of them. It's good to say as well, man. All right. Second Timothy chapter two verse nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundation of your house stand of sure, having the seal, the no, the Lord knoweth them that are His. God, and let every one that nameth the name of the Masyak, Yahweh Shah, depart from iniquity. Hey, hey, man, it's pretty much self-explanatory, man. The Lord knoweth all of them that are his, man. And guess what? How he's going to know? Hey, he said, those that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. So the ones that are not out here in this bullshit dwelling within the uh, world, indulging in the world, all right, when the Lord makes his return, all right, hey, that's how he's going to separate the sheep from the goat, all right? That's how he's going to differentiate the ones that are his and the ones that are not his, all right? Matter of fact, uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, real quick, try to grab it real fast. Uh, I got a quick reset, quick gadget. Yeah. This is Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Done, man. So the Lord, hey, he's going to get the ones that are his, all right, sitting, getting that gold from out of all the dust, man. All right, he's getting the ones that are his, all right, during that time, all right. So therefore, that's going to be the separation, all right. The righteous on the right, the wicked on the left, man. All right, and that's also goes for two-thirds of our people, all right, that's going to be on that wicked part as well, man. You know, right along with these other heathen nations, okay? This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It said, of the city and through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. 
gone. Because guess what? The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, say he's close to those of a broken spirit and a contrite heart, man. You know, wisdom crieth out in the streets, all right? She uttered her voice in the, voice in the chief place of the uh, uh, marketplace, all right? Concourse. Uh, con, 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 concourse of the marketplace, it's like mm -hmm. gathering the many people. Con, man. Right. So, hey, man, hey. That the wisdom is crying out, man. So that's how you're gonna know. That's how the Lord is gonna know which ones are his and which ones are not, man. All right, putting that mark in their forehead, all right? And the ones that are calling upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And the, that's how the Lord is gonna know which ones are his. The ones that have that mark, that go back to uh, Revelations chapter seven, which is, I'm gonna get real quick. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Revelations chapter seven, I'm gonna start at verse one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. All right, that wind represents a, a, a destruction, man. All right, so the four angels are holding back the destruction. Four our angels are holding back the destruction. All right, so they can, uh, so so the Lord's servant will be sealed. And those four angels are Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, and Michael. All right, and that wind represents destruction, according to Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, verse one. That right. destroying yeah. wind. Try to get somebody. Get, they bring out all the precepts. Yeah. And uh, somebody get Matthew 24 and verse 27 on deck. Verse 2, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seals of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. All right, that our angel, somebody got Matthew 24 and 20, verse 27 from Mark Shah. Uh, law, law. Is it 24, yeah, 27, right? Con, because that our angel represents Yahweh Shot, man. Because according to the prophecy, Yahweh Shot puts it. You got it. You bring it out. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the cunning coming of the Son of Man be. Con, so Yahweh Shot is going to come back from, 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 from the east, man. All right? To, to deliver the elect. Going, going to the previous scripture that the brother uh, uh, Kodash had brought out, that he's going to gather, he's, he's going to come back with power and great glory, great glory to gather his his his, uh, his elect, man. All right, to save them from the upcoming destruction because no one is saved yet. Man. All right, this is uh, it says, verse three, and uh, saying uh, hurt not. Uh, it says saying hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. They go back to the Lord, gonna know which ones is his, man. All right, until his servants, all right, according to the measure and to the number, the 144,000 uh, men. Uh, bring this one out real quick. Uh, We're gonna uh, finish your point up. First Thessalonians chapter east. four, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in the Mashiach shall arise first. Con, so, uh, so, so Yahweh Shai, he's gonna come back with a shout, all right? And the dead that shall rise first with him is gonna be the elect, the, 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 the ones that passed, that was in the ministry, gonna come back, prepare uh, for a journey to come back with Yahweh Shai, all right, to, to, to gather his elect and to take down Esau's wicked kingdom, all right? Oh. Because when you go into uh, to that word arise, it's gonna say prepare for a journey, man. So those that pass in the, in the truth is gonna come back uh, with, with their, uh, uh, their spiritual body all right, to, to, to come get it, man. All right. It, uh, uh, what it says, uh, back in Revelation chapter um, 7, verse 4, it says, and, and I heard the number of them which were still, and there were still 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All right, so you heard that uh, uh, vocab, all the tribes of Israel, man. Yeah. All right, so yeah. the Lord never changed, man. And that's going to be the ones that he, he's going to know of his that's going to have that, the wa, all right, the exempt from judgment for the second death, man. And uh, this is that quick precept, you know, to, uh, to go back to Jeremiah 51 and 1. This is Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell mm. in the midst of them that rise up against me and destroying wind. You got it. That just goes back to prove up his part, man. You know, that the, 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 the wind that the angels are holding back from the, the destruction uh, that's about to come to this place, it is a destroying wind from the Yahweh, man. Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man, and the angels right. are holding them back. That's and right. who, and who been rising up against Yahweh by Shemiah was shot? Those that's of the circumcision by not teaching uh, the correct doctrine, two-thirds of our people, all right, and these other heathen nations. 
those gonna be all those in the, um, those that I just said gonna partake in the second death in Jacob's trouble. That's gonna partake in the famine. Gonna partake in in, 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 uh, in limitation, war. man. Come on, cause guess what, man? The Lord is a man of war, man. And all you out here rebelling against the Lord, and guess what? You go into that word rebel, it means to wage war. So guess what? You going against the uh, 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 everything that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has set up. So therefore, you showing that you're against him, man. All right. So hey, shit, you, you got to go up against the man, man. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Yeah, yeah, I got a good flow going too. I like that. That's right. Because that when they knew Yahweh, they glorified him not as power, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. <laughs> and in it's like it, and changed the glory of of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to a to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts Jesus. and on, creeping things. Snake, the snake, Jesus, on. you know what I'm saying? Created by man, you know? Got our people worshiping Baal again, man, which is the devil, all right? Yeah, yeah. You know? So hey, just constantly going astray, man. You got the yeah. northern tribes with eagles and shit. And, on. And, uh, <laughs> they, 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 they will never talk about that. <laughs> hey, shit, uh, uh, what is it, Anubis? Got them dog-headed, yeah, yeah. shit. Um, I, yeah. Saw, I was scrolling on Facebook, and I saw the Passover for, uh, for IUIC, and it wasn't nothing but them. Uh, they had crowns upon their heads. They had furs, uh, uh, nice garments and stuff like that. They uh, they sat them. They, they they wanted to make themselves look wise. They wanted to make themselves look uh, look like gods. They wanted to make themselves be as Yahweh Himself. Right. And right. that and that's foolishness. That's they, that shows the darkness of that, their heart. That shows that they didn't want to wait for the crown that Yahweh Shai gonna give unto His elect. Huh. Because they that that that, that, that go back to. Man. Right, we gotta get somebody to get that. God. Just in Reset. case. I got one. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, oh, man. he was holding one too, but uh, yeah. No, no, go with the spirit. You know. All right. It's uh, Matthew Thank chapter right 23, and I'm gonna start at verse 25. It says, War to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. God. Thou blood, but. Thou blind Pharisees, clean first that which is within the cup, and platter that the outside of them may be clean also. So con man, just like the brother was saying, y'all clean up the outside appearance. Y'all have on your nice garments and shit, you know, all glittered up, purple and gold, looking nice, all militant as everybody like to describe everybody. Oh man, new brothers band together, you know, this, that, and the third, man. Hey, you clean the inside appearance, man, clean the inside, you know. Clean the inside of that dead self of yours. It's keep that's gonna be talked about in Matthew 23, man. You clean the outside, but clean the inside. Clean uh, internally, man. You know, take got, off that old, take off that old man and put on a new man. Bro. Right. Y'all got the Edomite power of destroying. While we have the the, the spiritual right. power, the, the 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 power of Yahweh Yahweh shot to heal. Yeah. Like, they, yeah, they still got the old man. That old man is Christianity. God. That's why they say Christ and Jesus. God. They got the mark of the beast. Like, 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 okay. <laughs> they worry about the outside appearance, but the inside appearance is full of, of filthiness. But I know it's, it's a scripture um, in the uh, New Testament. Uh, the one that's of a, of a Jew is of the of the heart of the circumcision, man. The circumcision of the heart. So they're not circumcision of the heart, man. they circumcision by the flesh, man. All right, because if, if, if they was at the heart, they wouldn't be doing some of some of the things like they doing now, putting crowns upon their head. Why you cannot wait upon the uh, prophecy, which is I'm gonna get right here real quick, uh, with the elect being crowned by Yahweh Shai, who the world called JC, man, because the Lord's true name is Yahweh Shai. Yah mean He, Yahweh Shai mean deliverer, which is He came to deliver His people. This is the Second Ezra chapter two. I'm gonna start at verse 43. In the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature. All right, because he was being praised and being praised, all right, by his men. Right. Taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads, he set a crown and was more exalted than I marvel at greatly. All right, and that young man that was of a high stature was Yahweh. This is a future. This is a prophecy. Uh -huh. All right, that's going to take place in this age, in this time, when Yahweh, when he get finished. Um, the, uh, when he delivered the elect, he's gonna set crowns upon their heads, man. He's gonna be as uh, uh, more. Uh, he's gonna be exalted. He's gonna be praised, man. That's why he say he's of a high stature, man. What about this prophecy? All right, why y'all cannot wait upon this prophecy? But no, all right, y'all want y'all own y'all own uh, uh, cake and, and ice and eat it too as well, man. 
Alright, so. Alright, uh, yeah. right. this is Jude chapter 1, verse 4. I got well, one there are I got certain one left. men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Oh, yeah, lascivi lasciviousness. Lasciviousness, select you, and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shai. Lord, uh -huh. We see that now, man. All right, with IUIC, all right, uh, uh, Nate crept in unaware of, all right, by uh, knowing that he's children of Israel, knowing the Heavenly Father and the Son, true name, and now, all right, he's uh, 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 denounced the name of the Lord. He made mockery of the name of the Lord. He denounced made the doctrine. Con the, the, co completely eradicate the whole doctrine, all right, and now he have nothing but uh, little zombies that's following him, man, and many others, man, all right, because it's going, like, once again, he's a Judas goat. That's why you have to uh, examine those that, that come into faith, man. Because like Scripture says, it's going to be some that's going to crept in under world. Because like Scripture says, there are many anti-anointed, man. There are many anti-Christ, all right? That's anti-anointed of the truth, all right? That's pretty much against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, please, sir. And, uh, this is going back into the point where the brother was speaking on, you know, how IOIC and these false camps, they make clean the outside, but the inside is uh, filthy, man. All right, so this is the book of Luke chapter 11 starting at verse 37 and it says as he spake a certain pharisee besought him to dine with him and he went in and sat down to meet and when the pharisee saw it he marveled that he not washed before dinner and the lord said unto him now do ye pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the mm. platter but your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness, man. <laughs> All right, and that's exactly uh, these false camps today, man. IUIC and these various other camps that brother's speaking on, man. They come with the uh, flashy garments, you know, the, the riches, the money, the status. But inwardly, man, is uh, wickedness and ravening, man. You know, God. because they uh, 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 dwell not in the truth that you have about Shimmy Hawa Shah, man. Uh, really quick, I'm my ravenous? Kind, ravening. Gone. Get out of here. All right, then. <laughs> my job, they was, they was having like a little like a little office party and stuff like that. They were handing out little uh, little decorations and stuff like that. And one of the ladies had a crown and she was trying to give it to me. I was like, no, I'm all right. I don't want to. I'm all right. Just It was a little paper crown, but still, in my spirit, I didn't want to. I'll wait for the, for the real one from, from your house. Sir. Gone. And uh, I'm going to read this real quick. This Gone. is Romans chapter 1, verse 24. It says, wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up unto unclean, uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So that's that's the, that's the even worse of fate that Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai, well, it's in his will that Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai created you to go off to be destroyed. Right, 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 right. The dishonor and part, I was about to say, you know, okay, be that, careful. That's going that, that, good that, job, good that job. zestiness, man. All right, and, and, and the women doing disgusting acts with other women, man. All right, the Lord is completely against that, man, and, and it's wicked. All right, and those that, that that's comfortable with that, yeah, and, let's and, get back and, to the point too, though. And indulge in that, the Lord is going to judge you. Yep, and that's, that's right. why uh, the Lord has set up men, you know, as you see here today, man, uh, you know, uh, marking those that cause div div divisions which, and offenses uh, contrary to the doctrine, which you, you know, which he have been taught, and uh, also according to the book of Jude. 1 and 15 to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him the father you know so that's the whole point man of us coming out here letting y'all know man what it, what what is the will of the our lord man you know for those that have been with the bullshit man. So those oh, that right. spoken against them that go back to every idle word should be held accountable for yeah. in the day and judgment because the Lord remembered uh, each individual that spoke something or had something negative to say towards uh, his name and towards his men. Yeah. Hey, they're competing with y'all too. Uh, uh, just a little bit. Pretty so. All right, There's the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Come on, right. Nick the snake doing that sheep's clothing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that, 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 that. That good looking gear that they have, you know, that, that unison attire that they always wear together, man. Yeah, that's you know, gonna look one good. band, one sound attire, pretty much, you know. <laughs> they, they they come in purple and gold, man, you know, with the whole Masonic thing going on, the aprons and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's not other Lord, man. You know, be yourself, be your own individual, you know? Wow. You know? Try to uh, walk in and say, be holy, man. Right. Be holy, you need to be set. 
God, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, be your own separate person, man. We all have we all have the same spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but we all have our different attributes of ourselves, man. You know, shit. All of us ain't finna sit out here and rock purple, man. You know, <laughs> all right. All right, jumping down to verse 19. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Whoa. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Hey, so hey, every tree that is uh, uh that don't bring forth good fruit is hewn down, man. Hey, so you're gonna be cut down, all right? Every wicked root shall be ruled up. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that ship is gonna make him fall. Hey, con man. Hey, yeah, he was already playing with the uh, the, the the John. Yeah. Then we went out there. Oh uh, yeah, man. You feel all right? You feel all right? Shit, the one dude looked like he had tears in his eyes, man. He did. You know, he did have tears in his eyes. This is uh Hosea, chapter <laughs> six, verse five. <laughs> Therefore, have I shoot them. Slacky, slacky. Matter of fact, you can bring that out one more time for Bucket Show. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. All right, uh, this is back at the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 19. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit, good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Con, man. Hey, so every tree that don't bring forth good fruit is hewn down, man. And guess what? Hey, you be hewn down by the prophets through the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You can bring that like out. Says, back in Hosea 6 and 5. Therefore, have I healed them, means divide, you go to where he going. To, to divide, to cut asunder, you know, gone. By the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that go forth. They gonna be manifesting that day, once again. Come on, man, hey, and we getting out here, uh, hewing them down by the prophets, all right, why? Like the brother brought out earlier, man, Romans 16 and 17. Mark those that cause division, uh, 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 contrary, which we have been taught, man. You know, and when you go into that word, Mark right there goes back to the Greek, which means skopeo, man. Which means to put on a pedestal, like a petri dish, like a microscope, you know what I'm saying? Examine, all right? Show, show, we're gonna show the world how you go off, man. Go off according to doctrine, all right? Uh, yeah. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Oh, yeah. Well, come on, man. Hey, taking vengeance on them that know not the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, script, what, what more uh, Psalms 9 and 9 say? And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, man. So it differentiates the ones that know and the ones that don't know the name of the Lord, man. So, and what you what it said right there? Uh, uh, verse 9. Who shall be punished with the everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? Come well, uh, uh, before that, when it say, hey, the one, on the come on. Obey it's going to take vengeance on the ones that, that, that obey not the gospel of the Lord, man. Well, what, all right. what the scripture says, all right, it's going to take vengeance on them that obey not the gospel. The Lord also created spirits, all right, made for vengeance, man. Uh. All right, to, to, to basically to, uh, execute judgment. I just want to get one precept. This is Psalms chapter uh, 78. I'm going to start at verse 49. He casts all, it's like he casts upon them the fierceness of his anger. All right, the same thing what the Lord is going to do unto two thirds of our people and everyone that speak against his gospel and his men. All yeah. right, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels against, no, Salaki, sending evil angels amongst them. So the Lord is going to use these same angels that he used in the time to play Egypt, which is America, modern day Egypt. He's going to use those same angels, the evil angels, all right, to take vengeance on, on those that obey not the gospel, man. All right, because the Lord have angels that uh, would do anything at his at, at his command, man. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter thirty nine, verse twenty eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, God. which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Hey, <laughs> con, hey, and judgment heaven right now, man. Hey, so the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai got those evil angels out here lurking, man. God. You know, hey, it's like honestly. It's like, hey, man, hey, uh, judgment becoming quick, you know? The, all that mocking and scoffing, this, that, and the third, when the true prophets try to tell you something, hey, shit, literally, like, either that same day or down the line, something happening to your ass, man. You know, I remember Apostle Gabbard a few, a few, uh, well, a while ago, I can't put no time on it, he basically, hey, it's going to come a time where all you scoffers and mockers, man, shit your ass going to drop dead right on the spot, man. All right, hey, and it's coming, man. You can feel it, all right? Why? Because the closer the Lord get, all right, the, the, the further that wicked shit just... Don't really matter to us, man. You know, we're not really worried about it, all right? So it's just like, hey, man, you, you can feel the Lord coming, man. You can feel him getting closer. As you talked about in uh, Second Edges chapter 9, man. Now is the time when the uh, heist will begin to visit the world which he had made, man. And you can feel that. He's coming back, man. 
Why? Because once again, he told us to measure the time diligently in itself, all right? And how we're measuring it, using this measuring stick right here, you know? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual things, all right? I, got I just saw that. I, know, I actually caught that on tape. <laughs> This is uh, a <laughs> Peter Atticus chapter 39 verse 20. Nine. <laughs> Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Yep. Fire and hell, all these things were uh, created for vengeance. So the actual fire that's going to come for those nuclear mi uh, missiles, that's also was created for vengeance, man. All right. Hey, look. Go, go. Hey, go, all right, because the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the children of Israel, God's chosen people. All right, our people need to know this. The father's name is Yahweh, and the son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. All right, yeah. and what we're reading about right now, the Lord, Yahweh Shai created uh, principalities. He created everything. Everything coexists because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, have committed, uh, uh, created it with the holy angels, man. All right, it was the mastermind of Yahweh. But Yahweh gave a point to Yahweh Shai and the angels created, man. So oh, what we're reading about right now, these, these uh, spirits that's created for vengeance. Fire is created for vengeance. These, these things is going to uh, be taken upon those that are opposed against this truth, man. Opposed against the true knowledge, man. All right? Real knowledge is found in the scriptures once you've uh, been taught by uh, the Lord, true prophets, man. All right? Because he says, I will give you pastors according to my heart that will feed you knowledge and understanding. So we're here to, uh, to this day. <laughs> to this day, man. Uh, uh, Jake, but Jeremiah 3 and 15. Yeah. It says, uh -uh. You should have uh, kept going on the. Um, oh, I got that. <laughs> yep. Because, uh, hey, man, this, this, this is the. Uh, it says, what? Knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade many. many. Huh. All right? Uh, uh, the terror of the Lord, we just persuade many, man. So we know that the Lord had these actual spirits that He created to, that He's going to allow. To, to touch you damn two thirds and you false prophet. Hopefully, there ain't one of them right there. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's one of those spirits we've been fighting, man. <laughs> uh, back in Cleveland, Atticus chapter 39, verse 30. I Teeth ain't nothing about that. Of yeah. wild beasts, the scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Con. Hmm. So. Esau represents that sword. Con. Yep. They're on, on the left hand side, man. All right. All this. One more time before I shut my back. Back in verse 30. Uh -huh. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Come, man, punish the wicked unto destruction, man. So what it says uh, in uh, what it is Amos, if if if, if one flee, then then this uh, serpent will bite him or something like that. Because because Yahweh Bashim Shah, man, he's not playing, man. All yeah, right, this the is things the things that the things for for individual that want to mock. At, at, at the true power, and they never heard of it, of the truth, and they've been exposed. Man, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's gonna, he's gonna eradicate you people, man. All right, y'all, y'all more, more worrying about a damn a USC fight, or worrying about uh, what's going on in the world, but y'all not worrying about nukes. Y'all not worrying about uh, 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 chaos over here in America. Y'all not worrying about famine. Y'all not worrying about hyperinflation. Y'all definitely not worrying about the Lord, man. Done. Because yeah. in, the, in the midst of all that. That's why uh, he says, he that endured to the end, the same should be saved. Come. You have to be in the midst of the fire to be saved from it, man. In the midst of all that, the Lord is going to have a cluster of grape that he's going to he's gonna pick up and save, man. Come. That he have chosen through the furnace of adversity. Come. But this is Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Come. To what to what end is it for you? Come. Come. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. You are, uh, for ones, for you the ones that don't... Actually, go according to the doctrine of the Lord, man. I U I C Nate the Snake, uh, 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 you Christian pastors, uh, T D Jakes, T D Snakes, uh, Creflo steal your dollar, uh, uh, Joel Osteen. All right, all these, man. Hey, keep going with that, Babakasha. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Come on, yeah, man. Hey, the Lord's coming back with the blessing for you. Hey, he's coming back with uh, he's coming back with gifts, man. You're absolutely right. He's coming back with gifts according to your work, man. If uh, you're doing work that being pleasing to him, all right, you're gonna be rewarded with salvation. If not, you're gonna be rewarded with destruction by thermonuclear fire, man. All right. Verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Gone. So you fleeing from a lion, all right, you get away from that lion, all right, and then you meet a whoo! Then shit, a bear come around the corner, man. Guess what? All right. She gonna be like Final Destination. Yep, yep. Judgment on every side. That's what I mean. Yeah, they're gonna run from the military. 
and they're gonna run into the chip. Gun. They run from the chip, they're gonna run into a damn car and run their ass over. Gun. At their car, they're gonna run into a gunshot. Gun. They run from a gunshot, it's gonna be Jake on their ass. Then they got the zombie, they talking about zombies now. Then you got killer bees out this motherfucker. Damn. Gun. So back in verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So when Shit. Is, when <laughs> yeah. come, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. You got it. Uh, well, shit, as soon as you done finally got away, man, damn, why well, done got away, shit? That room missiles go. Yeah, it's gone, man. You can't be able to get away from it, man. Right. Woo! You can't dodge them, man. This shit is raining fire then, you know? <laughs> All right. Verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Gone, man, because, hey, for utmost, hey, it's going to be dark. Why? Because what's called the apartheid shot? How they did, all right? You're not going to be able to withstand that day, man. It's going to be terrible, man. People shitting themselves, dropping dead at the sight of the bombs, man. Yeah, right, that you was know? the Persian shot, yeah, the Parthenian shot. Gone. Mm -hmm. The Parthenians. Gone. Fighting the shade. Yep, let's bring these out. Let's wrap it up, yo. Yeah. Like, for real, uh, like, really close it we'll up. We're gonna wrap it up with this one. Any more precepts? Uh, I got one. Uh, I was looking for them, but my revelation Come on, congratulations. Okay. Okay. Then we'll hit it. Let's bring, like, literally, like, two more. Let's wrap it up. I got it. Don't get anybody caught in this, man. This is Ephesians chapter oh, 2, verse 3. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh, of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But Yahweh, who was rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, he hath quickened us together with a Masyak, by grace ye were saved. Gone, man. Hey, so hey, we was once in the world, man, but hey, we took off that mortal clothes and put on the immortal, all right? So now we're able to understand the things that the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has provided for us, man. Now we're able to do the things that he has told us to do and he has commanded us to do. According to uh, 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 Ecclesiastes uh, uh, 12 and 13, man, here's the conclusion of the whole matter, man. Fear the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, man. All right, because hey, if you're not doing those things, doing the things that are pleasing to the Lord, hey, you're going to be caught up within the sif that's going on, man. All right, this is Zephaniah oh. chapter two, verse three. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the <laughs> earth, which have Ooh. wrought his judgment. Ooh. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Come on. That's y'all calling them IUIC members out of that damn bullshit they in. Con, man. Like Spencer yeah. says, hey, stretch forth whether your stretch forth your hand whether thou wilt, man. Before uh fire in uh uh uh, uh water, man. Yeah. All right, fire representing destruction, uh water representing this truth, man. Yeah. Representing yeah. salvation. So hey man, but hey, whether it's gonna whether you stretch your hand yeah. for if it's gonna be given given to you whether you whether you, whether you chose it or not, man. Why? Right. Because everything's predestined, man. Yeah, and they're hoping to be hid in that day. That's the Con, thing, man. man. We gotta be hid. You know, you uh, uh, from the destruction. So, like you. Uh, what's the scripture that the brother brought out earlier, man? Hey, they get they they providing this freedom for you, but hey, they won't even have a place for you to suffice in that time of trouble, man. Right. All right. That's safe provision is through the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Proverbs okay. eighteen and ten. The name, the name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is a strong tower, and the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Come on, man. And that's the spirit, man. Hey, so hey, you got them. They they, they, they provide all this succor and shit. Uh, hey, but it's not going to be able to suffice in that time of trouble, man. Because like the brother just read, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe, man. So that's going to uh, uh, separate the boys from the men in that day, man. Right. All right. They're not gonna, we, you know, if you want them to be hid, they got to pull out of that bullshit. Then they got to call on the name of the Lord so that they'll be hid in the tower. Come on, man. That's right. Um... Two more, or let me survive a little bit. Yeah, can't quench the spirit, man. It's all good. <laughs> uh, this is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. Con, the sinful kingdom, man. It's the whole earth, but uh, mostly America, man. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, all right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. This place is going to be eradicated. I U I C. The kingdom is not going to be established here in America, all right, as you teach, all right? This place is going to be eradicated, destroyed by thermonuclear fire. 200 million missiles, Revelation 9 to 16, all right? Saving that I will not utter, utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So come, man, out of the midst of that destruction, hey, like the brother spoke on earlier, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to keep a cluster, a cluster of grapes, all right, that Esau, all right, coming to steal, all right? He's going to keep a, a cluster for himself, okay? Come. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in a seed. Con, and you seeing that going on now, man, as we've been talking about uh, through the lesson, all right? Uh, uh, Nate the Snake, uh, Tazaria, G-O-C-C, uh, 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 what's your boy, Sakari, yeah, there you go. 
All right, everybody's being exposed, man. You know, and even ourselves, we not. Uh, we got to make sure we on the straight and narrow as well, man. Because right. we're not exempt for anything, man. That's why we hope for to be the elect, man. They go for all Israel, all that's of the circumcision, man. Come on. Those that do have the truth, man. They go for all of us, man. Because we all not a, a zip yet until we know that we on those ships. Come on. Oh, you said Nate. Was saying sure, that um the kingdom gonna be established right here on Earth. Con, well, this kingdom is gonna be established in America. <laughs> That's what he said. Well, this is Second Ezra chapter four, verse twenty-nine. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. And that's talking about the kingdom. All the wickedness and abomination that going on out here, this place got to be eradicated, man. This shit got to go first before the kingdom can be established, man. For the grain. Uh, that was it, you know. But uh, I can continue on. But that was it. I got one more. Precept. Oh, yeah. I got one. You yeah. got it. Yeah, this is too. Proverbs chapter eight, verse thirteen. It says, "The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, right. and arrogance, <laughs> and the evil way, and the flow forward mouth. Do he hate? Do I hate?" So the uh, and, I, and I brought that out because uh, Nate he had a he had a video. It was him and his congregation. He was like, "Say hey to the haters, y'all. Hey haters, da da da." It's like we don't. <laughs> what we hate about you is your is your evilness, yeah. your pride, For, your arrogance, and the way and, and the forward mouth. Yeah, forward, yeah. Forward, forward. Yeah, yeah false uh, doctrine. False yeah, doctrine. false doctrine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you a deceitful man. Con, uh, we'll finish that one up. We got a real, when it's time to wrap it up, we got to wrap it up. All right, back at the book of Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will utterly destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Come on, man, and it's self-explanatory, man. Hey, so with that being said, Lord willing, this video was edifying. And once again, we want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba-Shim. Ba-Shim. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba-Shim. Ba-Shim. Ha, ha. Raka. Raka. Kudash. Kudash. Ma, ma. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Also to our elders as well. Shalom, man. Keep pushing. Shalom. 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 That rain feel good, though, shit. Isn't that very nice? You see? Oh, there you go, there you go. No, I didn't. Did you make sure? Is it berries? No, they berries.